Welcome all you StarCraft Knights out there. Tonight we have an exciting matchup. This is Delative with Eternal Plague. Tonight we have Duck Sauce, who's playing the Red Zerg down at the bottom left hand of the map, versus Kantian, who's going to be playing the Blue Terran up at the top right of the map. We're playing on Shakira's Plateau. As you can see in the middle of the map, we have two Zelnaga Watchtowers. Both players are probably going to strive for the watchtowers in the middle. They're going to be able to get good scouting information off of it. It's a bigger map, which means there's plenty to expand off of. And looks like Kantian now, he's going to be playing standard. He's going to probably block off his ramp here with this early supply deploy up close. And it looks like Duck Sauce, he's just building drones. Probably going to expect an early expansion out of him down to his natural. Kantian here just continues to pump out SCVs and looks like Duck Sauce is doing the same. Gonna go with three drones. Looks like both are playing pretty standard, not anything crazy. Kantian now coming out with a barracks. Looks like, as I said before, he is gonna try to block off that ramp with a standard play. You might see an early push out of Kantian. I know with Zerg, that's what he likes to do. He likes to do an early push. He likes to see if Zerg can handle the aggression, and if he can't, then Kantian knows obviously he's going to have the game. Tonight might play out different though, I expect to see a lot of carnage, a lot of destruction, a lot of blood and guts just everywhere. I'm really excited about this match, I can't wait for things to get going and see how it plays out. Looks like Duck Sauce is going to go for that early expansion. Kantian now, he's coming in and he's going to get some scouting information from Duck Sauce. He's going to figure out what he can find out. Kantian obviously sees he's got the early expo, decides not to go up the ramp. This is all he needed to see. And what is he going to do? Probably build a bunkers. Yep, there it goes. The bunkers down. He's going to try to do an early bunker rush. As you can see, he's got the Marine and SCV coming out now, coming down to Duck Sauce's base. Duck Sauce notices the Bunker Rush. He's going to come down here, try to take out that SCV, try to stop him from producing that Bunker, as he did. Kantian taking the SCV away now. He's not going to let him die. I don't think that's what he wants to do in this matchup. Duck Sauce is going to use his drones now to try to clean up that Bunker, get it out of his base. As you can see, he's going to go for the Spawning Pool to get out them early Zergs, try to stop this aggression. He hasn't started on his gas supply yet. Kantian has started on his gas supply, and he's got more Marines coming down. And it looks like Kantian's going to try to micro some of these drones away, give his SCVs time to build up these bunkers. And as you can see, Duck Sauce now is bringing out those Zerglings. Oh, and look at that! Kantian gets out of the trap from this drone, try to run their way back to the bunkers. They're not ready yet. And it looks like Duck Sauce has probably stopped this bunker rush. There's nothing building. Oh, there's the bunker. It goes down, but Kantian is not able to get into the bunker. Kantian now has decided to pull away. He knows that this isn't going to work, and those Zergling is just going to eat up that lonely Marine. Duck Sauce easily takes care of this bunker rush, no problem. And it looks like now Duck Sauce still isn't going on his gas refinery yet. It looks like he's still just pumping out Zerglings. He's going to try to make sure that he's safe from any more rushes that Kantian could possibly come up with. Sorry, I can't speak right now. Kantian bringing his units back. Looks like he's finished blocking off his ramp. He's going to go with a double factory build. I expect to see some early Hellions take care of those Zerglings as quickly as possible. And Duck Sauce now going for the double Zelnaga Watchtowers. He's going to see everything in the middle of the map. He's going to know if Kantian's coming. Kantian looks like he is building his command center. He's going to go for an early expo himself, which is exactly what he should do. Anytime you see the Zerg build an expansion, you should expand as well. Looks like we got two, or looks like we got a tech lab and a reactor coming off those. Factories now, nothing on the barracks quite yet. Duck Sauce got his queen out in his expo. He has not yet upgraded to the metabolic boost for his Zergling, so they don't have the speed that they need. 
Cantian, he's got four, five Marines now. And it looks like he's coming out with his first Hellion. I expect to see a blue flame coming up, which he does. And looks like three Hellions are in production. And you could see some real early harassment here, but he's going to have problems with these spine crawlers blocking the base of Duck Sauce. Duck Sauce now, he looks like he's just droning up, trying to play it safe. He's now getting his gas for the extractor. He still hasn't got his metabolic boost, but he does go down with a layer on his hatchery, trying to get to that tier 2. Spine crawlers are up, Cantian now. Looks like he's taken his base into the orbital command and still just pumping out Hellions. He's got four so far and another barracks is going down. Cantian, I believe he's looking for that early push, trying to possibly clean up the Zerg early in the game, get this over with. Looks like Duck Sauce has supply blocked himself. He's going to put down an Overlord, keep droning up. He is way ahead on his minerals. And it looks like Duck Sauce is just doing some simple scouting with his Zerglings, trying to figure out what Cantian's doing. At this time, Duck Sauce doesn't know a whole lot about Cantian. He knows he has a command center, possibly. He knows he has one bunker. Other than that, he doesn't know much. He knows he has a factory. Cantian doesn't really know much about the Zerg player. He knows he has an expo, and that's about it. Look at this, Cantian now coming in with all of his Hellions, they're blue flamed up, trying to ride into his base. We're going to see how this carries out. Cantian coming in strong with the blue flame Hellion. Notices he's got all the spine crawlers up. Look at that, he takes out some Zerglings, but at the cost of a few of his Hellions. He might want to try to back out. I don't think this is very costly effective for him. He's going to try to sneak in through the base. Oh, going into his main base now, he's going to try to get some drones. And it looks like Duck Sauce is holding this off pretty well. He's killing most of his Hellions all but one. Duck Sauce now has got a Roach out, which is a good reaction towards these Blue Flame Hellions. Roaches are very strong for him. It's a great counter. Cantian decides to pull back his Blue Flame Hellions. He knows this isn't going to work. He's going to have to try something different. Cantian now finally down on his expo. He's got two SDVs pumping out. And it looks like he's going for the stim pack research for his Marines. And he's going with another barracks. So he's going to have a three barracks, two factories coming out of his base. And Duck Sauce is, looks like he's just going to roach up. He's going to go mass roaches. He knows he has Hellions. He probably assumes he has a lot of Marines. This is going to be a decent counter for this. And look at this. Cantian now coming out with Marauders. And Cantian is also building a bunker at his natural. And Duck Sauce going for a third expansion. 11 minutes into the game. That's, that's really good. He's going to get more minerals. Even though he's got 600, close to 600. And he's got a Baneling Nest down. And it looks like Duck Sauce finally got his speed for his Zerglings. Cantian now coming out with a couple of tanks. He's got two tanks in the making. He's got Marines pumping out. And it looks like his stim pack is halfway being done. Duck Sauce bringing his Zerglings across the map. Possibly going to see if Cantian checks for his third. No. Nope. He's going to see what Cantian's up to, see what kind of Marines or units he's got, and they're not going to see anything. Duck Sauce now, he looks like he's just massing up Zergs, massing up Roaches. He's not building anything else. He's going to get his centrifugal hooks down for his Banelings. Sorry if I chopped that word up, but that is a good upgrade for his Banelings. In essence, his Banelings going to be more quicker going to get to their targets a lot sooner. Cantian playing it safe. He's going to siege up his tanks here in the middle. And it looks like he's going to build some missile turrets. He's going to try to make sure that the Zerg player isn't going to come in with mutas. Because as I said, he really doesn't know what the Zerg is doing at this moment. And right now the army supply is in Duck Sauce's favor. 
he's got 84 units versus Kantian's 40 and also he has more drones than Kantian 56 to 36 now 37 Kantian has some catching up to do and it looks like we're gonna have a Muta, Zerg, Banling, Roach combination and it looks like Duck Sauce is gonna get he, these Mutas out here for some scouting information gonna see what Kantian's got in his base he's gonna do some harassment and it looks like Duck Sauce now pushing to the center of the map he's looking for a big push here Let's see if Canteen has what it takes to withstand it. The Mutas are going to sit right outside Canteen's base. Possibly a two-prong attack that's going to go on here. And look at this. Duck Sauce coming in strong on Canteen. Canteen holding him off. Not doing much damage. Oh, Bunker goes down. Canteen holding off his force. And they're going to get wiped out. He's going to handle them at the cost of his drone. The Mutas are going to come in, they're going to take out this missile turret, they're going to take out more drones. Kantian finally seeing that he's in his base, he's going to pull what drones he can out. Looks like Duck Sauce is going to fly away. No, he's going to stay and engage, which is a mistake for Duck Sauce. He's going to lose his Mutas. Mutas are very expensive, you don't want to lose too many of those. Good for harassment, but you do not want to stick around and lose them. Duck Sauce now getting blown away by the missile turrets, trapped in a corner. Where is he going to go? He's going to go up to the top left of the map, and he's going to hightail it out of there. He does not want any more to do with this. And he's going to try to attack again. I don't understand what he's doing. He's losing control of his units. All of those mutas got cleaned up pretty quickly by Kantian. That was a bad choice made by Duck Sauce. He should have got those out sooner. These missile turrets are going to tear up his uh, mutas along with Kantian's marines. And it looks like we are down to 32 drone or SCV supply for Kantian, 56 for Duck Sauce. Army supply is about the same right now. So that's not too bad. And as you can see, both players are floating minerals. The Zerg player has 2k of minerals that he's floating. It looks like he's building more Zerglings, more Banelings, more Roaches. And Kanti now just coming down with his third expansion. Looks like he's got tanks, Marines. That's about it. He's got the shields on his Marines. I don't see any other... Oh, yep, he's got his level 1 upgrades. And, well, his level 1's just now going down for a shield. Kantian now coming out for a push of his own or he's going to defend this third expansion. I'm guessing he's going to defend the third expansion as he should. Duck Sauce coming down here. Going to take out these Marines. And Kantian's not going to let him have the Zeld Naga Watchtower. He says, I don't think so. You can have the bottom one. I'm going to try to take the top one. Nope, he's going to push back into his base. He doesn't even want it. He's not concerned. And look at this massive force coming out by Duck Sauce. He's at 153 supply versus Kantian's 96. Kantian looks like he's supply blocked at the moment. Coming in strong. Zergling coming in here, going to try to take out these tanks as he does. Kantian trying to fire as much as he can. And it looks like Kantian is, might lose this battle. He's going to have to push back into his base. These roaches are just too strong for these marines. They're going to roll up to his ramp now. And it looks like we're going to have a full-on attack here. The roaches are going to get taken out. Marines are getting taken out. There's massive destruction everywhere. And it looks like... I don't know who's going to come out on top of this. It looks like Kantian's going to come out on top. He's going to take care of these roaches. Get them out of his way. And it looks like Kantian coming down with another tank now. And look at this. Duck Sauce coming in with more Zerglings. He's going to keep attacking this 